Okay, welcome viewers to the new Scion-On Grafting Shears model SGM522R, a multi-jaw grafting tool with a cutting capacity of 3 to 22 millimeters. So basically, that's the range of wood you see on the screen. It will allow users to cut cleft, curved, rind, wedge, and whip and tongue grafts, and the preparation of chip and tea buds across a range of materials. So as you can see, the jaw's got a larger opening, and we've got a few extra what we're referring to as stack plates assembled onto the jaw and that gives this model its versatility and we've also tried to improve the um, problem with debris getting caught between the blades so we've got a larger opening there and an open uh, face on the stack any debris fragments that get caught and don't just uh, slip through the brake and just be pushed through On the back there we've got some longer screw fixings and that they'll be used to as assemble another blade onto the back of the tool for when we cut kerf grafts. The tool is supplied with a basic tool kit and with that you can make adjustments to the upper and lower stacks and uh, that's just done by releasing the nuts and heads of the screws and then you can slide these plates forward or backwards depending on your preference. So we can cut material down to about three or four millimeters. And we're just demonstrating how easy it would be to cut a chip bud from a piece of material about four millimeters. And then without the um, adjustment of any blade fixings, we can progress up to a piece of material about, uh, well, that'd be about eight millimeters, nine millimeters. A lot more variation along these planes to control the depth of um, uh, chip taken. Right up to a piece now, probably up around 12 millimeters, 13 millimeters. And if you want a thinner chip, you just lower into the plane and you can peel quite a thin one off. This model will still allow you to cut whip and tongues. And you can control the acuteness. And you can still cut uh, larger diameters. One of the neat features of this um, new jaw is that with the addition of another blade we can uh, now create kerf grafts. So basically by inserting another screw fixing on we create a uh, pedestal for a second blade to be positioned. The kerf jaw. Then to convert um, back to normal use, just remove the fixings that hold the uh, second blade on. And you're back to having the normal operation. 
does pay to take that screw there out because that sometimes gets um, in the way when you're dealing with bigger material. But that's pretty simply done. And the blade on this end is still held on with the original fixing point. Then you can go back to uh, utilising the different planes of your um, setup. For example, here we're creating a blunt wedge style graft. Still, still seven material at this point. I've just created there a uh, blunt uh, cliff graft. You can create pointed cliffs. Very versatile. And then even a fairly heavy chip bud in this larger material. You do this um, probably for grapes or kiwis. And then a uh, chip bud in something similar to uh, the size that grape material might be. Um, where you just peel the bud off like so. If you want a little bit heavier bud, as, the, as this um, material gets smaller, just go on a different plane. 